Parents and community members in Grand Prairie say not enough is being done about an offensive incident that happened in a school classroom and was recorded. Earlier this month, the video surfaced of several classmates saying, writing, and spelling the N-word. Fox 4's Dion Anglin has more on what some believe is a sample of a much larger problem. Dion. Hi there, Heather. Well, the school district has addressed the video in a letter to parents that says that the students involved have been dealt with and this type of behavior will not be tolerated. The local NAACP says the response does not go far enough. What does it say? Yo! It says the video shows several students in a classroom at Dubisky Career High School. And discussing and handling post-it notes with the written message, I hate N-word for life. And our track coach had said, hey, there's a video out there. When I saw it, I actually wasn't surprised because every single day it's another racist slur. Freshman Amaya Davis has attended Grand Prairie schools since kindergarten. Her family celebrated the opportunity for her to attend Dubisky. Because of the academic advantages, the fact that you could come out with, um, you know, on a career track and you can have certifications that give you a little leg up before you get into college. They say the video circulated online is evidence of a more widespread problem at the campus involving racially charged name calling. You can't really do anything about it because it's going to make you look bad in a sea of people who are all doing the same thing. They ignored it. They wanted to downplay it. The local NAACP accuses the district of not responding appropriately, pointing out the video surfaced Thursday, March 9th, before the start of spring break. The district addressed it in a letter to parents Wednesday of this week. The letter describes the behavior as offensive, inappropriate, and hurtful to each and every one of us, adding discrimination, harassment, and offensive language is not and will not be tolerated. Have you had any discussion with the uh, with school, uh, the district administration at all? Uh, the, um, they are refusing to speak to me as the leader of the NAACP. I did get a email from President Carrillo telling me that she will be giving these students um, due process, a full investigation. The letter to parents goes on to say the students involved have been dealt with and held accountable to the fullest extent allowed by the student code of conduct. Lucky says the video is no laughing matter. The Davis family agrees. And so we're calling for those students to be expelled and removed from Dubisky. It's just eye-opening, you know. I mean, we've, it's like each generation has the same battle. It is disheartening that the decision now that we have to make on whether to move her out of Grand Prairie ISD altogether, which we have had a good experience in, that we're having to make that decision based on racial slurs, oppression, a culture of oppression within the school when the administration is aware of it. Now, the NAACP, the local uh, uh, branch of the NAACP here is calling for the resignation of the superintendent as well as the principal of Dubisky Career High School. A school board meeting is getting underway in just a bit at 530.